Well, everybody, let's talk about the A6 Nova Blast 2. It's releasing late June, $130. So the Nova Blast was a very, very popular shoe last year for its soft, bouncy, max cushion ride. But it had some issues for mo many people, not all people. And ASICS went to work and made some modifications. So four of us have uh, tested and reviewed. Check out our written review, which has 13 comparisons. I'll touch on some of them in brief. But ASICS made some, uh, some changes, uh, which uh, we all thought were po mostly positive to the shoe. So first, um, they added two millimeters more of foam at the forefoot. Here is version one. Um, and now it's an eight millimeter drop shoe versus 10, and that improved stability and added some cushion. Yes, and that's what we felt. Um, second, they redesigned the rear midsole um, sidewalls and the TPU heel cup here, which is now a bit more extensive for a better lockdown of the foot. And then what they also did is you see their um, the patterning of the midsole sidewalls and yup it sure does make a difference uh, is more horizontal so for a more gradual compression uh, and more stability uh, third big big change is they completely redesigned the upper we had a plasticky kind of upper here which uh, for many of us was not a super secure hold uh, kind of baggy you can see here and what we've got now is a really really fine jacquard mesh upper foothold is excellent we do have a, a gusseted tongue it works really well it's very well padded it's very smooth fitting um, uh, we also see uh, a new tongue which is slightly less padded and a bit softer in these soft laces. Um, a few issues with the laces uh, that being so soft, a, a bit of bite, but not nothing major. And then we also have a really cool new theme. The colorway is celebration of sport. And we all really wish for um, a 2021 that's a celebration more than our grim 2020. And then a, a tagline, if you will, a very cool ta tagline, sound mind, sound body. So that's the theme of uh, the year and the colorway celebration of sport. Uh, we also have a, a new outsole design, and I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side picture now with the uh, other outsole. And what we have now is more segmentation in the front here uh, than we had before and this leads to a uh, with the two millimeter more stack height to better flexibility than version one and i'll show you that and this one is quite a bit more used run than version two and a bit smoother uh toe off but we all felt uh, maybe a little touch less agile than version one so um Overall, uh, in terms of the pros and cons, here's what the team thought. And, uh, an energetic, well-cushioned, bouncy, and smooth ride. So we all agreed on that. Um, Sam and Peter said daily trainer class. Yes, uh, with max cushion, with a distinct, narrow, uh, directed ride feel. Uh, version one had some of the same, but the instability in the upper kind of kept it out of the daily training class for me anyway. Um, we have a considerably improved rear stability and hold. Jacob and I agreed on that. And we all agreed we had a much more comfortable and secure upper, much more comfortable, a really, really fine upper, one of the best of the year so far for me anyway. Um, and then, uh, Three of us thought that the this narrower platform uh, and bouncy feel was very well directed, especially for a non-plated type shoe. There's no plate here. Um, and uh, Jacob uh, said, uh, enjoyable to range of paces from recovery to near marathon pace. Um, 
Now we do gain a bit of weight, um, and that's a bit of a con. We gain half an ounce at, or 14 grams in a US 8.5. Um, with our weight now at uh, uh, 9.85 ounces, 280 grams more or less in a US 9. Um, with our midsole stack height of uh, uh, for the men 2230, that's just the midsole, eight millimeter drop. Women 2129, eight millimeter drop. So I'm estimating the full stack height, including the sock liner, um, the lasting board below that, and the outsole at a very big 3830. So that weight is, while it's up, is still quite reasonable. So sub 10 ounces for a max cushion shoe. Uh, other cons, uh, uh, if you could call them that, there's just more refined. There's a bit less of the fun factor, but I'll take that uh, for the stability and the utility here. And uh, a little bit the lace pressure was noted by Jacob and I. So um, a few uh, comments from the team here uh, in terms of their conclusions, and we all scored this shoe very high. Um, Jacob said, I recommend the Nova Blast 2 for all runners. It could have a place in a runner's, in any, anyone's rotation, forgiving, stable, easy to run and comfortable, and adequately spacious to work a variety of foot shapes. And I, uh, I agree, uh, the fit is true to size. I wouldn't size up here uh, really for any, any reason because this mesh is super soft and, and quite, um, quite uh, foot accommodating. Now, Renee said uh, that it's, it's a comfortably high cushion, comfortable high cushion, bouncy shoe. Uh, those that like the Nova Blast one but needed better stability should be pleased with the changes if they can forgive the slight weight change. Yeah, and we do have a bit of a weight weight uh, increase. Um, uh, she felt that uh, that the the stability was a bit much for her, but this is certainly not a stability shoe, um, and might find it intrusive if you really really like the uh, version one. Version one for me really required a lot of focus on form to stay kind of on the straight and narrow, uh, given its kind of instability and the upper. Uh, and it felt definitely better at faster paces and slower paces. Whereas here with version two, I have no such issues. Now, Peter, what did Peter say, uh, the Nova Blast is a terrific daily trainer with plenty of cushioning and easy flow at any tempo and a lively ride. And uh, we all agree with that. So a few comparisons. Um, Asics's Glide Ride, which uh, is kind of a completely different approach. It's very prescriptive. Uh, it's, it actually feels somewhat firmer. Uh, it kind of drives you forward to toe off because it's a rigid profile with the guide sole. So it's just a different kind of approach. Uh, next, uh, Hoka's Mach 4. So this is another light, it's, it's uh, almost uh, well over an ounce lighter than our, um, than our uh, Nova Blast 2. Uh, it has a somewhat more stable heel. It's not quite as softly cushioned or as bouncy, but it's still a great ride. And if you think you need a bit more stability than this might provide, it's a great choice. And an Asics, the Cumulus 23, a little bit heavier, more traditional uh, shoe. Um, although about the same drop, uh, it's quite soft too. It might actually make a kind of a nice complement as a sort of recovery shoe with our, um, with our uh, Nova Blast 2 here. The Puma Velocity Nitro with his nitrogen infused EVA foam. So it's a bit less stack height. Um, its heel is a bit firmer because it has an EVA plug and a clip. Um, its forefoot is more uh, uh, flex has a forward flex point, so if you like that, something to consider. Um, it's it's not quite the max cushion bouncy we have here, but it does weigh quite a bit l l less at 9.13 ounces and a nine, so about seven tenths of an ounce less than our um, ASIC. Now we can go off to some more kind of extreme examples. The Moore V3, Fresh Foam Moore V3 from New Balance uh, definitely has a, a wider more inherently stable platform, not quite as bouncy. Uh, I found it a little harder to um, transition at slower paces than the Nova Blast. Um, 
So it, it has a somewhat roomier upper, uh, although our Nova Blast has plenty of room. Uh, the Invincible Run from Nike. Bouncier yet uh, on a much wider platform. Uh, it's all Zoom X. There's nothing else in the mix, not even a lasting board. Uh, so um, they are about as equivalently stable, despite the differences in geometry. Um, you could flip a coin. It really depends. Uh, if you want a yet bouncier, livelier ride, go with the Invincible Run. If you want something a little more controlled, uh, if on a narrower platform, take a look at the Nova Blast. The Endorphin Shift and Axon from Saucony, definitely firmer. Uh, more cushioned yet, but firmer. The foam is just firmer. It's not as bouncy. Uh, the Shift is definitely more stable. It has that ex external heel cup thing. Um, so it's more of a uh, near stability shoe than certainly this is. Finally, one of the favorite or one of the favorites uh, upcoming here of the team, the uh, which is now just coming to market. We have reviews of it. Uh, the uh, Fuel Cell Rebel V2 from New Balance. Okay, so very close comparison here. Um, uh, both have quite a bit of cushion. I would say our, um, our uh, Nova Blast has a bit more. Uh, the Nova Blast is a touch more stable, uh, while the Rebel is uh, bouncier and livelier and lighter. Um, so while our Nova Blast kind of now goes into the daily trainer class. The, the, Rebel, the Rebel V2 for many people will be more kind of that fun fast uh, shoe uh, in the rotation. And then finally the Skechers Performance uh, Go Run Ride 9 um, releasing soon. Uh, it has a very fine upper, a lighter upper, it's a lighter shoe. Uh, very secure, more performance-oriented fit than what we have here. Uh, a somewhat firmer, springier as opposed to bouncy uh, midsole foam and hyperburst. Um, kind of depends on what you're looking for. Maybe a touch more stable, um, but a touch less cushion. So that's our review. Uh, we have 13 comparisons over at um, at our written review at roadtrailrun.com. Uh, please feel free to ask questions and comment. Uh, the shoes were provided by ASICS at no charge for all of our testing. We'll have some more testers join the written review soon. If you like our channel, please consider subscribing. Have a great day and a great run.